Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, earth weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and some science news of the electric nature. But we're getting started, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on our star. We're starting with the pop and central filament release you saw yesterday, followed top right corner by a ripple over the limb, and one more filament destabilization center disk. Before we hit the eruptive behavior, let's look at the solar wind stream. You'll recall we've been expecting an impact from this coronal hole solar wind, and it did occur yesterday as a relatively modest stream, failed to hit 500 kilometers per second, but which had the density and magnetism to cause a brief geomagnetic storm yesterday afternoon. So let's come back to these eruptions. Once again, the first filament snap you saw yesterday, and top right the cause of the coronal ripple, was a Lars plasma ejection, and the last filament slip which was a collapse event rather than a CME. The eruption that came over the limb is visible in 171 angstroms as well, was a modest sized CME ejected just over 90 degrees away from our planet, which puts the CME in position to impact Uranus in about a week or two. About 30 minutes after that earthquake warning came through the disaster prediction app last night, the uptick began. 6.1 blood echo in Kamchatka was the top event of the last day, but in terms of the signaling something worse, a transition zone blood echo struck the Java Sea as one of the world's scariest volcanoes, Krakatoa, has entered a constant low-level eruptive phase. Very much hoping that one doesn't go off bigger, global climate effects could be weeks away if it does. The earthquake watch right now is driven by that CME, the coronal holes, and this, large umbral fields easily visible incoming over the eastern limb. We've got a large sunspot group heading in as we turn from Earth-facing view to what Stereo A satellite sees behind us in orbit, like a bright light amidst turbulent plasma. Up next, let's do the weather and start with GOES. You are to notice the brief explosion of development that took over half the country for a few hours before it began fading overnight. Looks gorgeous on the lightning detectors as well. The top storm report comes out of France. Hail becomes deadly once again. This is becoming far too common an occurrence worldwide as today, some French begin their latest cleanup. Looking ahead, there is a storm developing in the tropical Atlantic. It is strengthening and heading westward across the equatorial waters, be riding up into the Caribbean towards the end of the weekend. Things have been quiet all over, and look, as the sun wakes up, yet another weather record falls. By the way, Philip is one of the very few people I follow on Twitter. So why in the world would we be talking about spiders? Spiders ballooning. Well, the mystery of how they take off has been solved. And it was a mystery when they noticed that takeoffs were not based on wind, and in fact they happened in no wind conditions or even in dangerous rainstorms. It turns out that spiders are testing the atmospheric potential gradient and use multiple silk fibers to lift off on the electric fields of the global electric circuit. Not unlike how a golfer will lick his finger, put it up to gauge the wind, spiders do it to gauge the atmospheric electricity. Top article of the day comes as an indirect space weather story. Tons of studies exist on space weather disruptions to human circadian rhythm. Here, we learn that similar disruptions to circadian rhythm, especially from light at night, is correlated with both breast and prostate cancer, an unexpected and unfortunate truth there. Folks, be sure to get your tickets for Observing the Frontier 2019. Speakers, schedule, and hotel information can be found at observatoryproject.com. Registration happens at otf.cells.com, where you can also get some of these new shirts and hoodies we've got for you. Wearing one right now. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.